We start the hour in Sao Tome, where the results are in from Sunday's presidential election. Of course, it wasn't difficult. There was only one candidate in the running. On Monday morning, the election commission announced a win for Evaristo Carvalho, the country's former prime minister. Katarina Vitozzi reports. With only one contender in Sunday's presidential election here in Sao Tome and Principe, there could only ever be one winner. But those provisional results have now been officially confirmed by the country's National Election Commission. Evaristo Carvalho, the country's former prime minister, garnered 42,000 votes. That is more than he received in the first round of voting. However, voter turnout was low at around 46 percent. And about 10,000 votes, according to the National Election Commission, were either spoilt or blank. Now, the only other contender that went through to this second round, the incumbent president, uh, Emmanuel Pinta da Costa, pulled out earlier this week, citing electoral fraud. And he did call on his supporters to not go to the polls on Sunday. I was speaking to voters in polling stations across the capital, and one man said to me that he had been trying to get his neighbours to go out to vote, but they had told him simply, when there is only one outcome, what's the point of going now with these provisional results now fully counted the supreme court here in sao tome will have to validate those results that'll take up to a week with the new president set to be inaugurated by the end of september katrina vitozzi for cctv in sao tome and principe